Johnny. And it's time for writing. So I got the idea of this episode from my friend Allie. And she was texting me about this sports science show where they took a bunch of random Joes and they made them putt a golf ball. And at first, they're keeping the eyes on the ball and they're not doing very good because, you know, they're regular Joes. Then they're taught this technique, which is instead of looking at where the ball is, look at where the ball is supposed to go. Then they should just let the brain do all the work. So my friend Allie had this amazing epiphany and applied it to drawing, which makes total sense. Keeping your eye on the ball is such fundamental sport ball advice, but it doesn't seem to be the case when it comes to drawing or putting, apparently. Like, look where the finger is pointing. At the moon, not at the finger itself. When you're putting, keep your eye on the hole. Uh, yeah. And it reminds me of the story of the millipede, where if he tries to think of where he's going to put his leg next, he'll just crumple up into a little ball. But if he just lets his legs do the moving, then he's super fast. Also fucking gross. But it comes down to the more you think about it, the worse the execution. Like when it's execution time, things need to be executed. And this is related to the Japanese brush painting concept of, and I may butcher the pronunciation, kimyaku. The idea that a character forms a living totality, which is a fancy way of saying don't stop in the middle and don't stop in mid flow. Now, this dovetails nicely with the work I'm doing on my handwriting. See, like many of you, I bet I've got really embarrassingly bad handwriting. But at the beginning of the year, with a fresh journal, I decided, no, this year is going to be different. I'm going to try to do better. And I've come up with a few things to help me be a better hand writer, and I'd like to share them with you. And the first step is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Daily, if you can. But set aside some time to practice. Now, in some internet tutorials, they say you should practice each letter. And aside from being totally boring and just like grade school, that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Because as humans, we read words as words, not as individual letters. So I think it makes sense to practice words more than letters. And what better place to start than the 20 most common words in the English language? Well... Unless you write German or Japanese. And aside from our brains consuming words as whole word units, this can actually be a lot of fun because each word has its own shape that can be played with and messed with. And there's a real balancing act between how playful you make a word and how dull the word is. And where that balance is is going to depend on what you're writing and who you're writing to. But there's a lot of creativity here that can be had. A lot of ground to explore. All right, so that's what's been on my mind. And until next time, writing is fun.